So I am Linda Turner coming to you live from the Zengari kitchen. So this is where uh, it all started for uh, Fomagerie Zengari. So if you don't know, we're doing our uh, Instagram lives every Monday night at seven o'clock. And last week was family day and we made some family friendly finger foods. So those recipes are still up on our website so you can check our bio for the link. Hello, Erin. Hello. So I have a question for everyone today. One of the things I wonder a lot about is what is the one thing you wish you could make plant-based? So if you have any um, burning desires to veganize one of your favorite foods, I'd love to hear that and I would love to try and veganize some of those foods and bring them to a future Instagram Live. So tonight, I'm gonna to be making one of my favorite recipes. I actually made this for my partner on our, the, for the first time when I cooked dinner for him for the first time, this is the meal that I made for him. Uh, he was not plant-based or vegan at the time, so I was looking for something you know, that would impress someone that wasn't really used to plant-based foods, that was, you know, maybe a, more of a meat eater. So I've since converted him, but you know, it took some doing. And this is one of the first recipes that I use and it's, it's sure to impress people when you're having a dinner party or something like that. Hey Kayla, nice to see you here. So what I'm making tonight is vegan scallops. So we're doing vegan scallops with a fettuccine alfredo, and this is a super, super easy recipe. Once you have all the ingredients, it comes together super simply. So the main ingredient for your scallops is oyster mushrooms. So these are king oyster mushrooms. You want to make sure that they have that thick stock because that's what you're going to use to make your scallops. So you want nice, fresh, look for the big ones because you want the fat stems. Sometimes they're kind of skinny and they wouldn't work quite as well, but you want the fat ones, king oysters, and then you're going to cut them into little rounds. So I like to cut them not too thin, maybe half an inch or even three quarters of an inch uh, in thick. And then you'll get these little rounds that kind of look like scallops, right? So what I do with those is then I kind of score them to make little lines um, either way. So you can see that, see the little scores and that is going to help them to absorb a lot more of the marinade when you put them in the marinade. So I, the recipe for this is on, uh, there's a link in our bio, so check that out. It's, it's on our website. There's also a YouTube video that shows you step by step how to do that. So if you haven't checked out our YouTube video, all of the Instagram lives, we're putting them over there with a lot of other recipe videos and great content. So be sure to look for us over on YouTube. So after you slice all of your little oyster mushroom scallops and score them, you're gonna make a marinade. And the marinade is simple, four ingredients, white wine, vegetable broth, a little bit of olive oil, and then the secret ingredient that you're gonna to use to give it that kind of seafood taste is seaweed. So there's lots of different options for your seaweed. The recipe calls for dulse. Dulse you can buy in uh, bags that's already in little pieces. So it's little pieces of seaweed. So what I did is I just took the seaweed snacks and you can get your seaweed snacks at most grocery stores, I think. And you take a few of those seaweed strips and then I put them into like a coffee grinder. I have a special coffee grinder that I use for spices. So I use it for my flax seeds, I use it for my spices, and I use it for my seaweed strips. And so if you put them into your coffee grinder and you grind them up, 
And then I just keep them in a little like Tupperware um, spice container. And uh, so the marinade is a cup of wine, a cup and a half of vegetable broth, a tablespoon of olive oil, and a teaspoon and a half of seaweed flakes or dulse flakes or chopped up seaweed. You can even use those uh, sheets, nori sheets that you'd use to make seafood, um, to make sushi. You can chop that up as well. These ones are kind of nice though because they have a, they're a bit of oiled and they have a, a little bit of a salty taste to them, so it gives them a little bit of something extra. So I marinated them. I just put my marinade in a little like Tupperware container, put my oyster mushrooms in there, popped it in the fridge, and I marinated them for, I'm gonna say two to three hours today. So they've been marinating. And then I took my skillet, a little bit of olive oil in it, and then put in my scallops, and I fry, sauteed them on each side for maybe six minutes until they're nice and golden. If you can see, this one's a little tiny, but you can see how they come out. They look like little scallops that have been cooked on a, a sheet there. That They're nice and golden, they're golden on both sides. And so that's pretty much all you have to do for the scallops. And you could serve those uh, on anything really. But now we're gonna make the fettuccine alfredo and the nice thing about the fettuccine alfredo is that we're gonna use that marinade as the base of the sauce. So this is what the marinade will look like. So you can check out the recipe and get that. I have my fettuccine already cooked. So this is gonna come together really quick and easy. And now we're gonna make the Alfredo sauce. So the Alfredo sauce, I'm just gonna take three quarters of a cup of the marinade and add it to my skillet. And then I have one package of our creamy Swiss cashew cheese. So for this one, you could use the creamy Swiss, you could also use the double cream. Both of them would work really well, I just prefer this tastes a little more umami and uh, has a little more flavor because there's some miso in there, which gives it that great umami taste. And this is our old format. They now come in uh, shrink wrap packages, but I had some old ones that I kept for cooking at home, of course. So I'm just gonna pop that cheese into my skillet and I'm gonna melt it down and make it into a creamy sauce have a little bit of extra marinade just in case it gets too thick and I can thin it out. So you can use a wooden spoon, you can use a whisk for this. It takes a little bit to soften up, but it's gonna become nice and creamy. And then the only thing you have else you have to add to this sauce is a little bit of salt. So I'm getting a bit fancy tonight and I am going to add truffled salt. So it gives it a bit of a truffle flavor. You can get, I got, I think I ordered it on Amazon. Hey guys, nice to see you all joining us today. So if you missed the beginning, I'm looking for answers from you guys. What is the one food that you wish you could make plant-based? I'm watching the comments and I want to hear what you miss the most. If you're plant-based, you haven't found it yet. We have lots of great plant-based alternatives right now, but you know, like scallops, shrimp, uh, lobster bisque. What are, what are those things that you miss, especially for entertaining? This is coming together very nicely. It's starting to simmer, I'm gonna turn it down. We don't wanna scorch it. So this is the same pan that I cooked the scallops in. I don't wanna to have to dirty another pan, so I'm just making the sauce in the same pan here. And I love cast iron skillets. This was one that someone was getting rid of. It belonged to their mother 
or emptying out their house when they put them into um, a senior's residence. So I was lucky enough to scoop this one up. They're great, non-stick, thick bottoms. Who else is in the cast iron skillet crew? You guys love your cast iron skillets or do you prefer something more modern? So there's that sauce coming together. I'm gonna just bring it down to low. And you can see that nice creamy sauce happening there. I'm gonna add my truffled salt, about half a teaspoon there. And then I think I'm gonna add a little more marinade just to thin it down a bit. There we go. So we have our nice creamy Alfredo sauce. In There's like three ingredients. You use the marinade, the cheese, and the salt, and that's all you need. And then I'm gonna bring over my pasta pot where I already cooked my fettuccine and drained it. And I'm just gonna pour on the sauce and toss it up. There we go, pour it all in there. So with the mushrooms, you're gonna have uh, some little caps and stems left over. These parts that you don't use, the very top. So chop those up and save them for like a soup or a stew or a pasta dish later on. So I'm just gonna quickly toss my pasta over low heat just to rewarm it. And this is nice and thick and creamy. You hear that? Creamy, nice sauce there. You can thin this out with a little bit of broth or I even have a little bit of water. Pasta water is great for this. So my noodles kind of cooled down and got sticky, so. Just toss it around, warm it up a little bit. And in the meantime, we have some nice, fresh, chopped chives that we're going to use to top this. Always perfect to top your dishes with fresh herbs of some sort. It's much more fun in the summertime when you can just run out to the garden and pick them fresh. But fresh herbs are one of my favorite things to cook with. How about you guys? Anyone have any ideas yet on dishes to veganize? I'm still waiting for you. I'm watching. So then, once this is warmed up, I'm just going to plate it. I'm going to just plate the fettuccine. And you're gonna do it like a little spin it while you plate it so that you get a, like a little mound there. This is much better when you have nice fresh hot pasta, but I needed to prepare everything ahead of time so I could make sure that I wasn't here for an hour cooking for you. So there we go, we have our pasta. And where I'm going to top it with some of these scallops that we had previously cooked. Come sa. Oh, yeah. Some nice ones there. And that's it. And then I'm going to top it with some chopped chives. a little big and voila you have your adorable little scallops 
and your fancy Alfredo sauce and minimal ingredients. I think all together, there's probably about 10 ingredients in here if you count the marinade and the noodles and everything, but it's super delicious. So I'm gonna take my bite. What do you guys think? You gonna try this recipe? Give me a thumbs up if you think you're gonna give this one a try. Mmm. Mmm. The truffled salt, really good in there. So if you can find truffled salt, be sure you give that a try. So we're gonna post this video along with the other ones over on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, give us a follow. And I just wanted to say we have a little collaboration happening right now. Give me one second. So if you're shopping on our online store, if you buy $50 or more, you get this cute little vegan honey. So this is Bumble Bloom. I don't know if you guys have tried it before, but uh, we have these cute little cheese board size minis, and this is gonna be a free gift with purchase when you buy $50 or more on our online store while quantities last. So make sure you get yours. We also have lots of new fun things in our storefront and our cheese shop. So I hope you guys will pop in, join us at the cheese shop. We have a sausage party bacon. We have lots of gluten-free goodies over there. We have jellies and pestos and lots of things to accompany your cheese boards. Ooh, I'm gonna turn that heat off. And uh, yeah. So it's really nice. Oh, Doug McNish. Nice to see you here, Doug. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure you pop over to YouTube, leave us a comment. I wanna hear what dish do you want to veganize? <laughs> so take care. We'll see you next Monday at 7 p.m. back here in the Zengary kitchen. Bye.